there's a wonderful story about one of the great Hasidic masters, Rabbi Ram, known as the Angel. When Rabbi Ram was a young child, he once came to his father, the great Magid of Nezrich, who actually was the successor and disciple of the Baal Shem Tov, the founder of the Hasidic movement. And he came to his father and he was crying. He was crying and his father said to him, Why are you crying, Abramala? What's wrong? And he responded by saying that he was playing hide and seek with his friends and he'd, he'd hidden in such a good hiding place that they couldn't find him. They searched here, they searched there, but ultimately they couldn't find him. His father said to him, why are you crying? You won the game. His child said to his father, he said, no, Papa, you didn't, you didn't hear the end of the story. They just stopped searching. They went to do something else. They stopped looking for me. Now the father began to cry and he said, Father in heaven, isn't this the story of history? You hid, so we would search for you. But I want to tell you, you hid so well that so many of us have stopped looking for you. We stopped searching. This story answers the great fundamental question of why we celebrate Hanukkah on the first night. You know, if I had to ask you, how many nights of Hanukkah shall we have? You'd probably say, well, of course, eight. But let's think about it for a second. How many of these nights were actually miraculous? Well, this little jug of oil that they found in the temple, it could have lasted a day. So really, the first day of Hanukkah is not really a miracle. It's only the other seven days of Hanukkah that's a miracle. So really, I'm sorry to take away some of your presents, some of your donuts, but ultimately, no, only lighting seven days of Hanukkah, not eight. Why do we light for eight days? This is the famous question of the Beis Yosef. And there are literally hundreds of answers, whole books written with answers to this question. But maybe the answer here is that the miracle of the first day is that they actually searched for a jug of oil. They didn't give up hope. You see, you know, when they came to the Holy Temple, they found it ransacked by the Greeks, contaminated, violated, impure. They brought pigs into the Holy Altar. Everything was smashed and destroyed. This was, place was in utter, dis, dis, utter disgusting disgusting state who in such a moment would think I want to light the menorah I want to bring light into this moment who would hold out hope and yet that's what they did they searched for that oil and they lit the menorah and that's the miracle of the first night isn't this the story of so much so many of our lives. We grow up in this world and at some point we just see so much dysfunction, so much distress, so much pain. We stop searching for that, for that pure jug of oil. We stop hoping for a brighter future. We do not believe we can find purity in this world anymore. We do not believe that we can find purity, confidence, joy, love, friendship, authenticity. Instead, we become jaded, cynical, and emotionally paralyzed on our dreams and our hopes and yearnings. In many ways, the first night of Hanukkah is greater than the other seven days. It's one thing to supernaturally take a jug of oil and let it last an extra seven days. It's quite something else to keep the hope of our spirit alight. That's our human miracle, the miracle of courage and conviction to never give up on our dreams, to never give up on the possibility, to never stop searching for the jug of pure oil. Even though there's so much difficulty, there's so much darkness, we can find that pure jug of oil within ourselves, within others, and then we can light it up. And in turn, we will light ourselves up, we will light others up, we'll light our families up, we'll light our communities up, we'll light our country up, we'll light the world up. Let's share that light. Let's share that hope. Happy Hanukkah.